blessing of one of Africa's finest sons because none of us saw it coming. This ability to let no one see his next move coming, which we will be, we find unsettling in death, is also what we find inspiring in life. When they said laziness and sloth in public service cannot be cured, they did not see McFoody coming. When they said the cartels of corruption strangling Africa's governments cannot be defeated, they did not see McFoody coming. When they said African states cannot become middle income economies with in a single presidential term, and they didn't see Magufuli coming. When they said infrastructural projects in Africa cannot be completed on time and on budget, they did not see Magufuli coming. When they said the only way to pursue our development is to follow failed prescriptions of foreign financial institutions that have left Africa more impoverished and in debt than they found it. They did not Kini, see Mark Fury coming. <laughs> to us, who had the privilege of knowing the unpredictable Mark Fury, example of his life of service it shall not never be a launching shall ever, forever be a launching pad of our own. To us who have the honor of going through this world as Africans, Mark Fuller's love of country shall forever be a light on that pilgrimage. <laughs> to us who have been entrusted with governing the nations of our beautiful and rich continent, Mark Fuller's leadership shall forever move us out of complacency. It is right for us to hold him in this regard. John Pombe Joseph McFully was not just an icon. He was a hero. <laughs> May his name be preserved in every capital of Africa as a symbol of the kind of resolve that will create the Africa we want. May his work be venerated in every village as an example of worthy of our imitation. And may his soul rest in eternal peace. It's with his God, with whom we hope to one day see Mark fully come. Madam President, we will stand with you.